Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. For today's video, I'm dressed in a shirt, which can mean only one thing, a good old awards ceremony. Well, today we're celebrating the very best-selling Korean skincare of 2022. Around this point in the year, every single year, Yes Style, which is one of the biggest Korean skincare retailers, released their best sellers list. This year, they've actually broken it down by product category, which gives us an even greater insight and depth of understanding into what people are purchasing, repurchasing, and loving for their own routines. However, just because something's best-selling, it doesn't always mean it's good. And so we're going to be taking a closer look at each and every one of these products, and I'm going to be sharing with you whether I think there's a space for it in your own skincare routine. Sit back, relax, let's start the best-selling Korean skincare. Now, before we get into this video, just the usual reminder to do all that youtube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. The more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform, so it's just a wonderful way of helping as many people as possible discover our amazing Mad About Skin family, and for that, I'm always so, so grateful. I'd love to know your hot take on the products listed in today's video. Do you think they deserve a place in this top 10, or do you think there are just better options on the market? Sound off in the comments section below, and let's get that conversation going. Now, I've got a lot to get through, so without further ado, shall we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? For this year's list, and I filmed the equivalent video last year, which I've linked in the description box below, if you want to check that out and see how things have changed. I actually think there has been an awful lot of change when you compare and contrast last year's bestsellers with this year's. I think the biggest thing that I noticed is a lot of the Sun Buy My products, which were really popular last year, no longer feature in the top 10 this year. And the same goes for Dear Claire's. I think these are two Korean skincare brands that seem to be on a bit of a downward trajectory. I don't really know why that's the case as I don't have a whole lot of experience with either of these brands. So if you guys want to share any insight into why that might be happening, again, let me know in the comments section below. Of course, with any brand going down, of course, there's another brand on the ascendancy. And this year, it seems to be Beauty of Joseon. Now, this is a brand that I have a lot of experience with. You look on that shelf behind, there's a lot of Beauty of Joseon going on and I pretty much love all of their products. So it doesn't really surprise me that they're getting a lot of hype and attention. And actually, I'm delighted a lot of people are reaching for their products. I just hope people get as good a results for their skin as I did for mine. Now, I'm going to break this down by category. So the best place to start is with cleansers. And the best selling Korean cleansing balm was the Hamish All Clean Balm. Now, this featured really highly in last year's bestseller list as well. So I think this has been a firm favorite year on, year out. And honestly, I can understand why. It's a really effective cleansing balm. It comes with a relatively affordable price point, and I know a lot of people that get really good results with this. It's not the one that I personally reach for in my skincare routine, because I think this works better for those with a drier skin type. If, like me, you have an oilier skin type, it does leave an ever so slightly film on the skin. This isn't going to be a problem, like I say, if you've got a drier skin type, because that film will just, you know, prevent some of that dehydration. But if you've got a very oily skin type, you really want to start with a clean canvas. And this is something that just put me off ever so slightly. It works really well, but I do want to just call that out that maybe it works better for drier skin types. I would have loved to see this product actually win. This is the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm, which was actually in the number two spot in this category. So I think one that's growing in popularity. This, I think, is universal. It works no matter whether you've got a dry or an oily skin type and everything in between. It rinses off without a trace. And it actually went through a reformulation around 18 months ago, and they took out some of the problematic ingredients that could have sensitized the skin. So I genuinely think this is a reformulation that's improved the product, and it will just work for everyone. It's the same price as that Hamish balm. And whilst, you know, I definitely understand why people reach for the Hamish one all the time, this for me is just that little bit more accessible for us with an oily skin type. And so the one that I personally would be recommending. Well, now, when it comes to the best-selling Korean face wash, this is like the gel cleanser category. And um, it goes to the COSRX Low pH Morning Gel Cleanser. Now that's a real mouthful, honestly. This is a divine, divine product. And that's coming from someone that isn't the biggest fan of COSRX as a brand. I, I think they've been, for me, I think they've just got way too many products. Some of their marketing and approach in the past hasn't always sat that well with me. And so it's not a brand that I tend to reach for. But you know what? When they have a good product, I'm happy to shout about it from the rooftops. And this is a beautiful cleanser. It's pH balanced, so it won't disrupt the acid mantle on the skin, meaning you're kind of setting your skincare routine up for success. It's also not drying. So if you're somebody that wants to reach for a gel cleanser, but you're worried about it being stripping and drying, this could be a really good option for you. It actually seems to add hydration back into the skin. So I think this would honestly work for everyone. 
It would be a beautiful, like, second step in a double cleanse. Using that beauty of Joseon Radiance Balm first, then follow on with this. And I'll say your skin will be cleansed to perfection. I totally get why this is the best seller in the wash category. And I think it's probably going to be one that stays in that position for a few years after. As people just can't get enough of this product. And I totally understand why. Now, into the best-selling Korean exfoliator. And it goes to this product. Now, this is the Secret Key Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel. A lot of these products have ridiculously long names. That is one thing I've definitely noticed with Korean skincare. It does make it really difficult to pronounce them all here. But you know what? I won't complain because this is actually a really nice product to use. I should have said that I've linked all the products mentioned in today's video in the description box below. There's links there for Yes Style, Stylevana, Soko Glam, a lot of the you know bigger online retailers. So you can pick the one that you want to shop with. And this, I totally understand why it's a bestseller. It's got, A, it's effective. It does genuinely give a nice physical exfoliation, but it's got an element of gimmick to it too. So this has cellulose in, which when you work it over the skin, it kind of balls up on itself and it feels like almost like you're balling up the dead skin cells to remove them. You're not. No product is that effective. But that balled up cellulose does give a very gentle yet meaningful physical exfoliation. If you're someone that likes the satisfaction of going in with like a scrub, but you don't want something super harsh that might be like ground up shells or kernels, which I wouldn't recommend, this is a real gentle alternative. It feels so refreshing on the skin. And when I read like sparkling, lemon, I thought, oh, this is just going to be too much. But honestly, it's really gentle and I'm glad I tried it, put it through its paces because on those days where I want the satisfaction of that little peeling sensation, this is the one that I reach for all the time. A lot of other Korean exfoliators are just too gentle in my opinion to be that effective. So it wouldn't necessarily be a category of product that I reach for out of Korea, but this would be the one exception I would definitely say. If you want something a bit different that has an element of the gimmick but also performs, this is one that I would definitely recommend. Now, last year's serum category was dominated by the Sun by My collection and people just went mad for it. And that doesn't appear anywhere in the serum top 10, which I think speaks volumes to the world. Just maybe moving on from that, I never personally saw the hype. Though I know a lot of people did. However, they do still feature in the toner category. As the best-selling Korean toner of 2022 goes to the Sun by My AHA BA. PHA, PHA 30 Day Miracle Toner. You see what I mean by ridiculously long names? Um, this is a product that I just think is too weak to actually deliver any benefit at all. If you have super sensitive skin and you find that all exfoliators irritate you, maybe try this and I think it could work at the margins. But for anyone that's reached for an exfoliator in the past, you're just not going to get the results from this. I think it's a little bit overblown in the naming, calling it a miracle. This isn't going to be a miracle for anyone. It's just an exceptionally, exceptionally gentle exfoliant and I think there's just better options on the market. I reach for lactic acid which costs less than this and works better and you know for me this is a firm firm pass. It's also a shame because there are so many amazing amazing toners out of Korea that I wish were getting more attention. This is the secret to key starting treatment essence that I love and talk about all the time. Hydrates, eases out the skin tone and plumps out the complexion and this is the Ciaris My First Essencer which is like an essence and a toner in one packed full of antioxidants, calming and soothing ingredients. And I think either of these are streets ahead of that Sun by My Exfoliant. I just think you can get better results elsewhere. And it's a shame that that one's dominating this list. Now I referenced the serums just now and the winner in 2022 for the best selling Korean serum goes to the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Serum. That's a ridiculously long name, <laughs> but you know what? In keeping with the huge popularity of snail mucin, I'm not surprised that's in first position. People seem to love this ingredient, and whilst I'm not the biggest fan, for reasons that I captured in a recent video, which I'm going to link up there, I know that from you guys sharing your experiences, it does really work. This hydrates, it calms, it soothes. Some people say it can even help to fade hyperpigmentation in the long run. So I totally understand why this is the best selling serum. Um, it will definitely work. And I think if you like snail mucin, this is probably a product that's worth trying. But for me, the best of all the Korean serums that I've tried this year is this, the V Green Seeker Serum. Now I'm here to say you heard it here first because I think next year, V Green will be featuring an awful lot in the best sellers list for 2023. They're an emerging brand that's getting a lot of hype at the moment and it's totally deserved. This kind of does everything you'd expect that Cosrx Snail Mucin Serum to do. Hydrate, calm, soothe, but it also has some collagen building benefits too. So I think you're going to get a much more comprehensive formulation with this. And if you love your Centella, 
This is definitely one to try. Watch out for this on next year's list. I'll have a total told you so moment if it does actually appear. But for now, Cosrx lead the serum bestsellers, and I think deservedly so. It is a wonderful product. Now, as we approach the end of our skincare routine, we're of course going to want to top everything off with a moisturizer. I think Korean moisturizers work better for oilier skin types. They're often not rich and emollient enough to actually work for dry skin types, though of course there are some out there that do. I think if you've got very oily, acne prone skin and you want a lightweight moisturizer, definitely take a look at some of the Korean options because they're so lightweight, so elegant, and yet deliver a meaningful level of hydration. Uh, the number one this year is this, the Revectin Clean Water Lotus Cream. This is beautiful. One of my favorites for the summer months when I need my skin to be super lightweight. And you know, when I'm super oily, this delivers that hydration, doesn't break you out, and feels really, really good. Actually, in second place was this, the iUnique Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream. Now, Beta Glucan is a really great alternative to hyaluronic acid for those of you that might be a little sensitive to that ingredient. Something that I captured in a recent video, which I'm gonna leave a link to up there. I'm, I'm absolutely delighted to see this in the bestsellers list because I think this is slightly more hydrating than the Revectin. So I'd say if you've got very oily skin, go for the Revectin. If you're more like combination skin, maybe try this I Unique Beta Glucan one. Calms, soothes, hydrates you to the gods, and both of these definitely worthy bestsellers. Now, no skincare routine is complete without a good sunscreen, and for the first time in like three years, the best-selling Korean sunscreen isn't the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sunscreen, but actually this, the beauty of Joseon Rice Relief Sunscreen. Um, I kind of saw this coming, because this has been something that a lot of people, myself included, have been fangirling and hyping up for the past 12 months. Honestly, it's like streets ahead of any of its other Korean sunscreens. So lightweight so elegant. It's really hydrating and moisturizing on the skin too, which I love. And I'd say it would work for almost all skin tones. Some people do say that it can leave a slight hue on deeper, darker, or richer skin tones, so bear that in mind. But that aside, I think it's generally quite well tolerated and looks really well on a range of different skin types and tones, which is wonderful. My one criticism is I think it needs to come in a larger tube. 50 mil isn't enough for the amount that I love to apply this. But that aside, this is definitely a worthy winner. The Cosrx one, actually came in second spot, still beloved by many, and I think it's slightly more hydrating than this one. So match the one you choose to your individual skin's needs, but do be mindful that that Cosrx one does have fragrance in it, whereas this one is fragrance-free. It's all about personal preference, but it's nice to see a little bit of a change in the best-selling Korean sunscreens, and this is definitely a worthy winner. So there you have it guys, a rundown of the best selling Korean skincare products according to Yes Style. I'm really glad that they've broken this down by category because last year's video where it was just the top 10 best sellers was very much dominated by serums. Of course serums are amazing but I'd like that we can share a little love amongst the other categories of skincare. I love Korean skincare products and I definitely think they have a place in everyone's skincare routine. But of course you need to match the products you choose to your individual budget and of course your skin type and what you're looking to get out of the product. Products. These are some really, really great formulations, and hopefully in this video I've been able to explain who I think they'll be most applicable for, and some great alternatives in the cases of those products that I don't think are worthy of their best seller status. A lot has changed between last year and this year, so it's definitely worth checking out last year's video, which again is linked in the description box below, and I've linked all of the products mentioned today, so if you do want to check them out, read the ingredients, the reviews, it's all there for your convenience. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.